Hey, guess what? This is On the Road with Pastor Anthony. I am Pastor Anthony, but right now I'm at home. And uh, last weekend, uh, during the High Mileage Helpers live feed that we did, um, we all got to talking about food on there. And I was telling, telling a little bit about some of the things I made. And they're like, you need to do a video on food. And so... Uh, on one of my things that I like to cook and so I thought well I'll do that while I'm home this weekend and uh, it's pretty simple it's nothing spectacular but uh, I'm going to share it with you all you know steps through what I do to make it and then uh, we will break and then get to the grill so because they got to set just a little bit and I let them set uh, so what we're going to do is get that going now and have some fun and so I, I don't know how this is going to go but we're going to do it and and see uh and then i'll share it and so uh, see how well that goes over so i hope that you like this it's just uh, something fun to do and well let's get going so what i'm going to do is i didn't get all my stuff out But, uh, yeah, this is a little different than my on the road uh, videos. So, I um, hope you all enjoy what you I've put out so far. Uh, the last one was probably the, the most inspirational. I don't know what to say that, but uh, I had a lot of um just uh, it was really good to uh visit the flight 93's memorial and to be able to share a video with you all and so see how we're going to go but anyway tonight i'm making my world famous uh hawaiian burgers and yes i said hawaiian burgers and so uh what we're going to do is is of course you always start out with you start out with whatever ground beef you want. So I'm going to angle this down so hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And this is really definitely different from anything I normally do. I probably ought to flip the camera around is what I ought to do and see how that works. Let's see. I mean, I'm going to flip the camera around so y'all hang on. All right, we're back. Let's see how this does. Not sure how it's going to work out, but we're going to give her a whirl. So hopefully you all, you really don't need to see my ugly mug. But as you see, I got my ground beef there, which uh, used with the, the diet that I've been on, where I've lost so much weight. Uh, those of you that don't know me, uh, I'm down about 63 pounds since last August, or first part of July, around that time frame. And so um, I'm going to continue to move forward. And it's been a lot of help. I had uh, went through physician's weight loss. Uh, did not use weight loss surgery, uh, not that I'm down on it, but uh, did not use weight loss surgery. I did uh, all diet, and so, uh, and it worked very well for me. Hopefully, this bowl is big enough, and it's looking like it probably is not, so might grab a bigger bowl. Let me uh, step over here. Let me switch bowls and I will be right back in just a sec. All right, hey, let's try this again. That other bowl. But uh, anyways, I was saying about my weight, I was at uh, 247 is what I weighed. And I was only 5'6 and a half, 5'7. And so, yes, I've lost quite a bit of weight. And it's by not eating this stuff. And so, uh, but you know what? We're going to see how this goes. I don't know if I want all that. I think we'll just... Is up there we'll see how that goes but um anyway so <clears throat> one of the things you do is you know it depends on how many you want to make you know i've got family coming over in a little bit we're gonna uh eat dinner and uh chill out and hang out because you know, i'm home this weekend um any of you all that watch my channel that'll see this video in a little bit I am preaching at uh, Starcher Baptist Church in South or uh, Charleston, West Virginia. 
if you Google it, uh, they the pastor of the church said that he's just not there's something come up and he's not going to be there, so I'm going to fill in for him. Um, but he says they do Facebook Live if you would like to see me uh, all dressed up a little bit. Not, I'm not going to be in a suit, but uh, and check their church out, but uh, watch me preach. Uh, you can definitely do that this Sunday uh, on Facebook, uh, Star Trek Baptist Church. Um, I will try to find the link and post it so you all can see it. If you'd like to, if you'd like to follow me and watch it, but we will be leaving out on Sunday uh, right after I get done preaching. I might go to lunch with my wife and then. Uh, I'm going to be boogieing on to um, to Indiana. We're going to pick up a, a short load there, only because I'm not getting out of here till late. Uh, these are Italian style breadcrumbs. Uh, the, it, like I said, every one of the things I've learned about cooking is you don't measure unless you're baking. Uh, everything else you just put in there what you want. And so, uh, so it tastes the way that you want it to do, but this is kind of how I do things. And, and so, uh, of course, you want to um, use a little bit of seasoning. I think I'm going to do this. I, it's a McCormick brown sugar bourbon uh, it's, uh, seasoning, and I love it. And we use it quite a bit, and so I'm going to... I'm gonna put some of that in there. Like I said, this is all me. Just what I would put in there if it was if I'm making it. Uh, so you know, you may want to change it up a little bit. Some of it's just, you know, I like Sweet Baby Ray's uh, barbecue sauce, and so I always put some of that in there. Right now, I know it's probably looking pretty uh, pretty nasty looking, but trust me, uh, when my kids found out that I was making this. Uh, they were, they were like, uh, we can come over, right? And I'm like, I'm like, yes, you can definitely come over. Um, I usually put some in the bottom of this pan. Uh, it needs to set in here for just a little while. And, and so, so I always put some there in the bottom of that. And so now we really just mix everything together. Uh, like I said, this is pretty simple, uh, cut and dry. Like I said, I put the breadcrumbs and the egg in there because it helps bond everything together. And barbecue sauce and uh, the original recipe that I found for it, uh, that's what it called for. So I always do it. And uh, so you could or could not, you know, if you don't want to put egg in there, you don't put egg in there. If you want to use something other than uh, the Italian breadcrumbs, that's what you can do. But that's my preference and you know and like i said my family likes it real well so that's what i decided to uh, go ahead and uh, use it my grandkids for some reason they uh they're not real big fans on it uh i think it's just because it's got stuff in it and uh and so i'll fix them some regular patties or i've got some frozen ones down there i might just use those and so uh, we'll see how that goes uh, a little bit miss ray lynn's over there if y'all seen my dog on some of my videos that i did working around outside she's uh she's hoping that i'm gonna make her one but i'm not and so all right so we got these all made up now i'll get my hands washed i should have opened that bacon up before i did that and the pineapples and we'll see how we uh how many we get done out of this I wash my hands 5,672 times a day anyway, uh, whenever I'm usually home. Now if I'm out doing RV transport, we just drive and, and go and, and all that. And, and so, I like the black label bacon. You know, you know my, there are so many people in my family that will be like, but you can get bacon cheaper here. I, yeah, well, I, I don't. I'm not skimping on the bacon. If I'm gonna eat it, I'm gonna I'm gonna get the good stuff, or at least that's good stuff to me. And so, uh, 
I usually use fresh pineapple, and I probably should have got two cans of this. I always do that to myself, so we'll see how how many I make. And uh, but once you all see them, uh, the finished, then uh, you'll see what I uh, how they're done. And then, like I said, they're going to be setting for just a little bit before I make them. But like I said, I usually use fresh pineapple, but uh, for time constraint and. A little bit easier i just going i just decided to go ahead and use uh the canon pineapple rings plus two a little bit of juice in there uh, to help it oh and toothpicks yeah one thing when you grill these i think i'm going to use my griddle tonight i usually use uh, my grill but it's getting old and does not cook the way that it should now <laughs> it's time to be replaced and so uh but anyway what we'll do is i'm gonna make one of these and then uh i'll stop it once you see how i do it and then you can like i said then you all can then i'll show you what they look like once i get them all in a pan uh in case i gotta go get more pineapple or something but uh anyway patty it out put a piece of pineapple up on there take your bacon wrap it and Toothpick is just kind of help hold it in place, you know, especially once you start grilling when you're flipping it over and stick it in there. Then you know, same process, just repeat it until you're done. So, I will see you all back in just a little bit whenever I get all these finished up here. All right, you all, this is those ones that I have finished with what all the burger i had and it's plenty for my family and i and so um and i'm also gonna fix a few of the other frozen ones because some of the grandkids like I said they're not fans of pineapple so um this is where we are right now and so what i'm gonna do is i put them in the refrigerator just a little while i uh, just kind of let them set and chill uh, together and, and the juice and the pineapple kind of blends into the meat with everything um, i'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, griddle warmed up and get some oil on it so it can do and we had some bacon left over so we're going to fry it up and get ready to put them all on the grill and so when next time you see them they will be done and like i said it's really just um, about trial and error you know because the original recipe when i found it was not like it is what you see uh, it just had the ingredients and i kind of twisted it around and made it my own and made it work better for me uh, the way that I like them. So there it is. I will see you all in just a little while when they are finished. And so uh, talk to you soon. All right, guys, I'm back. This is the finished product. I hope you all enjoy. It's a all right, guys, that was it. And as you've seen on the video, that was them. Uh, finished product. I hope you all enjoyed them. Uh, this is Pastor Anthony. We're going to sign out of here, uh, as we always do, and end this with prayer. Um, comment and let me know what you think and if you want to know a little more details of what they are uh, I'll list the, the ingredients in the description so Father God Lord we just thank you so much for allowing us just to have a little bit of fun this evening and, and show you um, a little bit of something that I cooked and so Lord just uh, bless it now to nourish with our bodies Lord as I get to eat them and Father we just thank you again in Jesus name Amen I will see you all when I hit the road but also remember start your Baptist church uh, Facebook live uh, I'm going to be preaching there this Sunday if you'd like to watch that. Um, so I will see you all then.